Welcome back guys, Ali DZ here with a new review. Today we are talking about Gillette's Mark III Turbo with 3D motion. If you're new to the channel guys, don't forget to subscribe because it really helps my channel. Let's get into the review straight away. You can find the pack for $17 at the supermarket. It includes the razor handle by itself and two sets of blades. Now the Mark III Turbo 3D is basically an upgrade to the Mark III Turbo, which I reviewed last. So for the sake of comparison, I'm gonna call it the Turbo and the Turbo 3D, and you'll see why. So blades on the Mark III Turbo and the Turbo 3D are the exact same blades. They are identical, guys. The only difference is the handle, and the handle is what will also make a difference, or well, let's just say a slight difference to the shave quality. So the Turbo 3D has more grip as compared to the Turbo and it's also like a big brother so it's basically longer and it's thicker. Both the razors, the Turbo and the Turbo 3D have the exact same cartridge. The refills cost $27 for a pack of 8 cartridges. Changing your cartridge is super simple, it's a one push button you can get rid of the old blade and basically just push that in and it's ready to use guys it's time to see the mark 3 turbo with 3d motion in action let's do it now this is something a lot of people don't give importance to guys make sure you prep your skin before you shave because when you don't you're prone to cuts you're prone to tugging. Also make sure your blades after you use them, they dry. Keep them free from moisture, keep them as far away from moisture as you can as well. That way your blades last longer. Okay, um, I've let the cream settle for about a minute or so. And now we'll go for the shave. So remember how I said you'll see a very slight difference to your shave when you shave with the Turbo 3D. All that means is any user error with contact, instead of it giving you a cut on your skin, the 3D motion will just swivel. It'll just turn automatically to the contours of your face. It's not very evident, but you'll see. Pass one done nice and clear. Um, I'm gonna go for a second pass, which is against the grain. All right guys, so I'm gonna shave against the grain now, which is against the direction in which my hair grows. If you do have sensitive skin, avoid, avoid shaving against the grain. It's just more contact with, with the blade and your skin, and that's gonna cause you irritation as well. So. Keep it simple and just go with the grain if you've got sensitive skin. Um, going against the grain just means you're going a lot closer with the shave um, and it's okay if your skin's not sensitive. All right, let's do this. Around the jawline, I just go sideways. And that's because the hair on your face, guys, it grows in all different sides and kind of directions. So you want to make sure first. And everyone's face is different, right? So you just want to make sure you know in which direction the hair growth on your face is and in what areas. So jawline. I'm going to go sideways.
perfect. So I did feel a slight pivot when I was under the nose here. No, not anymore. I did feel a slight pivot in here now. And if I was using the turbo blade, that probably would have given me a cut right in here straight away. So, in short, the whole point of this 3D motion is correcting any user error. Use some sort of moisturizer to hydrate your skin after. And as you can see guys, nice clean shape. Guys, time for the final verdict. Would I recommend the Mark 3 Turbo with 3D motion? Absolutely. It's a great razor great quality blades as well and the handles real nice real grippy the quality is fantastic would I recommend it over the Mark 3 Turbo maybe not like if the Mark 3 Turbo works well for you use it if you want a small slight upgrade with a head that twists go for the Turbo 3D it's same same Thanks for watching guys and I hope I've actually covered most points if not everything about the razor. If I have missed something, please, please, please ask me in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share and definitely don't forget to subscribe because when you subscribe, it helps my channel. Apart from that, till I see you next time guys, you know what to do.